Good morning. So this is the Brevo Oracle PES980 that I have to sell. Um, this is the one that's discounted because it's got a, a, fr a problem with the air frothing um, on the on the milk side. Um, so yeah, as per your request, I'm gonna be uh, recording my morning coffee on it. So I'm gonna make a latte. Um, so testing the grinder, the group head, and obviously the steam. I uh, think the machine is set up to make a good coffee. Um, last time I used it, I think it was on number 15 on the grinder. So I'm gonna keep that there. Uh, as you know, the Oracle has an automated tamper. So it'll grind and actually measure the amount of coffee and it'll stop on its own. I don't have to tell it anything about the, um, the tamp amount, or sorry, the grind amount, just the grind size. So how fine or how coarse the coffee comes out. Um, you know, the machine is in fairly good condition, not, not much to say, uh, just like any other used machine, it, it does have some scratched, uh, uh, some, some scratches on the front, um, which is very typical, it's a couple small dents here. Um, yeah, generally, I would say good condition externally. Uh, the port filter here, obviously included, uh, it is taped, so I think there was a crack on on the plastic, it's it's not going to move, it's like very very tight, I'm pulling really hard right now, it's not going to fall off, uh, but I did put black tape because I think it looks better, uh, it looked ugly without the tape, so it does have that, uh, yeah this is the original port filter, um, this is the double basket, before I begin I like to, um, you know, let the machine warm up, so the Oracle and the dual boiler both have uh, a feature called auto on so you can program the machine to turn on in the morning for you uh, by setting up the clock um, so if you don't use this feature you have to turn it on and wait five minutes which is what I was doing now I was waiting for it to warm up to 93 um, but with the auto on you can program it to turn on at like, let's say 8 a.m. and it's ready to go um, when you're awake um, so if you let the machine on for like five ten minutes it'd be, it'll be nice and hot um, if you're in a hurry, you can run, you can turn it on and run a blank shot, and a blank shot is just hot water through the handle into the cup, no coffee, uh, just to like I said to warm things up. Um, and if there's any coffee or oils, coffee oils up up there, this step will also clean it. So I think it's nice to do. Press the double, you can do the double shot, it'll go for 30 seconds, uh, usually. Yeah. Water's pretty clear, so the machine's not too dirty. Um, yeah, steam works. There's no issues with the actual steam output. It's just that the, the air pump, uh, I think, has 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 trouble uh, with putting air into the milk. Uh, like if if I were to use this on the automatic setting, so you press down for automatic. If I were to press the automatic setting uh, and make my milk on the automatic setting, even with the maximum froth, it's still fairly flat. It's flat milk. It, it doesn't have a lot of foam on it. So you push it up if you want to use the manual mode. So you can just get your milk jug. Just like a barista would do on a manual machine in the cafe. You just have to froth it manually. Which works just as well like any, like my, my personal machine has a manual frother here. And it works fine. Um, it's just that it's less automated. And that's why it's been significantly discounted. Otherwise the machine is pretty much, I think it's a bargain for, you know, if you were to buy a dual boil off for $700, and a smart grinder pro for two hundred dollars. That's nine hundred dollars already, just for the machine and grinder. And this this Oracle also adds a tamper distribution tool, and also adds um, the thermometer on the milk jug. So I think for what I'm selling it, at, I think it's a bargain. But anyway, um, let's make a coffee. So my cup is nice and hot now. Got my milk ready as well. Uh, 
uh, hot water tap works. Yeah, I like to add a little bit of hot water to the bottom of my cup uh, because I add sugar to my coffee and with the hot water it dissolves better I feel. So I do that every day. Okay. Um, I'm gonna take out the port filter. Make sure it's dry. Grab a tissue and uh, dry it. Uh, this double basket should take between 18 to 22 grams, depending on the settings of the machine. Um, but I think it should be around 20 grams from memory. So I'm going to use my scale to measure the, the coffee ground amount, uh, just to give you an idea of how much coffee you're getting. I'm also going to um, purge the grounds. So as you, uh, if you might know that uh, with these grinders, uh, every time you change the grind size, or every time you change your beans, there's um, a bit of grounds left in there, so about 2 grams. So I'm going to grind for about 2 seconds and get rid of that, just to, to make sure that we start with fresh coffee. So yeah, uh, always remember to change the grind size while the grinder is grinding, number one. And number two, um, after that purge, and get rid of the old coffee beans. Okay. So now we're starting fresh. Uh, I'm using the Lavazza beans. Not the best beans in the world, but they do their job for me. Just flip it upside down to get rid of any loose coffee, and there we have it a nicely tamped bed of coffee. Um, if there's any loose coffee, just blow them uh, and clean the edges before you lock the port of the run. Now, this is 22 grams of coffee, so very strong coffee. We're gonna get um, you can change it if you wanted to. You can go into the magnet here, there's a screw that you can adjust. But I think 22 will be okay for now. Let's see how we go. So lock it, lock it in to the middle. You don't have to go all the way to the right. I uh, only go to the right if it's loose, and that's usually after um, a few years of wearing wearing out the group head seal. Um, it's fairly tight, so I'll, I'll leave it there. Um, now that we measured the input, we also want to measure the output. So the input was 22 grams. We want to double that in, in the 30 seconds shot time. So uh, the machine will brew for 30 seconds on the double and I think 25 or 20 seconds on the single. I'm not exactly sure. So you can change those in the menus, but this is the standard 30 seconds. So in 30 seconds, I'm hoping to get double of what I put in. So double of 22 is 44. Hopefully, if we did everything correctly, we should be getting 44 grams of espresso into the cup. So press the double. And obviously being a drill boiler, it can be steaming and frothing and uh, making the coffee. Okay, that's a very good start. The coffee's coming out nice and smoothly. It was, it's not too quick. Um, maybe a bit too slow, but we'll, we'll see. It's definitely a shorter, sh shorter shot than I was hoping. So I might prolong it. Yeah, that's definitely too short. So that's 20 grams. So about half of what we were hoping to get. What I would do next is increase the grind size. So increase the grind size to maybe 18. Um, I'll let you do that. Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll change the grind size for you. Uh, but I'll continue with this shot just because I don't want to waste the, the, the shot. So. Uh, it's not recommended to run the beans or run the coffee grounds twice, but just just to complete the shot, I, I, I want to do that. Now 
there we go. Yeah, so if I were to do, let's say, grind size 18, this would have been a quicker shot. So that's 42 grams, perfect. This is what 42 grams looks like. This much. So yeah, we have some crema. Smells really nice. Probably not the best shot because we had to run it twice. And usually when you do that, the coffee surface is disrupted and it's not recommended to run it twice. But yeah, um, now you know what to do. So we're just going to clean it for you. Uh, and, and change your grind sauce for you. If you'd like a knock box, let me know. I think I have one spare to sell. Um, after knocking it off, do another blank shot, this time to rinse the group shower screen and the water filter. Make sure you do this as soon as you can so that the coffee doesn't dry. And every few days, I like to also wipe the group head. Uh, there's always going to be a bit of coffee grounds left, uh, maybe a bit of oils as well. So wipe it as, as frequently as you can, I think. Even if you do that every coffee, that's fine. And we're going to lock it in here. You don't have to lock it in all the way if you're not making coffee. So just like that. You don't want to go all the way. Uh, next, the milk. So, yeah, I'm not going to be using the automatic setting because I've already told you uh, it's not working. Uh, the temperature is working though, so you can put it on 60 uh, and steam it. This will, uh, on the automatic setting, it'll only steam the milk, not froth it. So you'll get a hot milk, uh, you get, you'll get hot milk at the end. So 60 degrees uh, in this case, but it won't have any foam. I'm going to use the manual setting and just lift it up and lift the lever up as well. That's going to engage manual setting. You can still see the temperature of the milk as you're steaming uh, on the manual setting. So that's very handy. You can take a look at the screen and know that you're at the right temperature. So I'm gonna froth it just like this at an angle, keeping the tip close to the surface of the milk and hopefully trying to spin the milk. Uh, and as it spins, we'll be getting uh, a bit of foam. Very good. That's 55 degrees. I'm going to stop it there. When you push it down, the machine is quite smart. It'll actually clean itself. So. Very important, after you're done, after the machine purges itself, grab a wet towel and wipe it straight away. You don't want the milk to build up. So wipe it all around, even the base and the thermometer. Maybe give it another purge, it doesn't hurt. And yeah, that's a coffee on the Breville Oracle using the manual frothing mode. Um, show you how to get the smoothest milk that you can. So here's the jug. I'm going to knock it on the counter to break any air bubbles. I'm going to swirl it around to mix it up. Do this a few times until the surface is nice and shiny. Yeah, that's very good. It's almost like a cappuccino level of foam. Um, yeah, I'm not a barista and I don't usually do latte art 
but with some practice you can definitely get lots out, out of this machine um, especially in manual mode let me show you the result this is the cup of coffee that I just made and there's a bit of uh, milk left for the cat <laughs> uh, yeah so very nice colors a good amount of foam and I'm sure it's a delicious cup uh, I'm sure you'll be able to do even better coffees with this machine uh, after some practice. I uh, hope you like it, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate. And thanks for watching.